welcome back another vlog we're doing it we're back in the groove i am gonna just share a few days in my life as a stay-at-home mom and podcaster content creator that's pretty much my whole identity right now those two things and i am actually just pulled up to the dentist so this is a very exciting opportunity for me because i got to get a babysitter for an appointment and i actually put on makeup and some sort of outfit which is wild because most of the time I wear workout clothes these days. So I feel like I'm on a little fun outing. But this is an exciting appointment because it is my, I think my last appointment for my Invisalign journey. So I'm getting my retainer today. I don't have it in right now because I was just eating a protein bar. But I have straightened my teeth with Invisalign. And right now I have a temporary veneer crown on this tooth because this is a very mini tooth. So I had like a tooth that was way smaller than the other ones. It didn't match the tooth on the other side. So we ordered a permanent veneer. She have to like drill it down a little bit and then she put a temporary on top. So this is pretty much what it's gonna look like but I have to get the permanent one on today and get my final retainer that I will wear at night. I've been doing Invisalign. It took me about a year and I'm so excited. I never had braces as a kid. I had tried other aligners in the past and never stuck with it. They didn't turn out how I wanted because I did it through the mail and then I didn't get the permanent retainer and then they moved. So I decided, I was like, I am going to do this. I'm going to do this for reals. I went to a dentist's office in Las Vegas. I came to Mesa Dental and I love Dr. Browner. She's so amazing. She's an artist when it comes to building the smile and she's just like so gentle. I've loved my experience here at this office. I highly recommend them. They're in Summerlin. I currently do not live in Summerlin so I actually drive over here to these appointments and it's so worth it. Everyone that works here has just been like so sweet and I'm so excited to finish up my smile journey. So I gotta run into this appointment. Let's do it! some topical numbing and now she's going to inject some numbing above this tooth so that way I don't feel anything. I love that they put the topical numbing first so you don't even feel when they inject the actual numbing into the gums. All right, this is my little mini tooth. Even minier now, cause she has shaved it down a little bit, but we're gonna put the permanent veneer on there and it will all be matching. Size difference on the laterals though is definitely. That was the before. You can actually really see, I think, better here. Yeah. Over, right? mm -hmm. That was a bigger overlap for sure. Mm -hmm. This is one this is one that you can really see the lower teeth though, you know, where it's a little bit more with more quick on the bottom. Yeah. And then the other one you can see more of the overlap of the front. Mm-hmm. All right. We are back in the car and my lip is totally numb. So my smile looks really crooked. If I hold it up, you can see my teeth better. So we put on the permanent the permanent veneer. There's a little space right here on my gum. It's because the temporary, I think, was like pushing my gum, but my gum should come back down and fill in that kind of black hole. I'm so excited to be done with the process and I just can't take myself seriously with my lip right now. So I will have to do a final reveal later but yay I got my got my retainers and they gave me four so I have like five years or they gave me five so I guess you're supposed to change them like once per year but that should set me up for like five years and I will be back already next month for my cleaning I'm getting my teeth cleaned every six months and I am embarrassed to say that in my 20s my teeth clean like once or twice from 20 from 21 to 27 I literally went like two times so now I'm feeling really good and just like good peace of mind that I'm going every six months it'll be my third cleaning next month at Mesa Dental the experience is so much smoother than when I used to get my teeth cleaned so I think that's making me go more often because they have like a membership plan I don't have dental insurance but I joined their membership and it's like really affordable I think it's something like under $30 a month and then I get my teeth cleaned twice per year and x-rays and dental exams 
um and she's super thorough like she she checks your blood pressure she checks around like your lymph nodes and she does like a really good overall health exam i'm just feeling like so much stress relief knowing that i'm taking care of this part of my life when i used to be really bad about it and that is just adulting for you so i'm excited i'm taking advantage of this having a babysitter this morning i'm grabbing coffee with a new friend of mine who is actually a client of mine turned friend and i'm on her side of town so just gonna grab a little coffee with her and then head back home totally did not film going into the coffee shop and now i'm still in my car in this vlog but i actually went to the gym later after coffee i have canyon with me and i have a very special envelope here this envelope contains the gender of Kendall's baby and I am not opening it but I am gonna drop it off at this bakery and have a cake made for her. Her and her husband are gonna do a little intimate moment gender reveal and cut into it together this weekend for their anniversary so I'm gonna get a cake made for her and running in there before they close in a few minutes. I have ordered cakes from here before. It's called Freed's Bakery. I think they have a few locations in Vegas. This one's in Henderson on Eastern and they make really extravagant, beautiful birthday cakes, custom cakes. <laughs> Hello. You ready to go run in the store real quick, bud? Mm -hmm. Let's go run inside really quick. Just had my lemon water. I do that every morning before coffee and it makes me not feel cracked out from my coffee. Good morning, Canyon. Canyon has always been a very early riser. He usually gets up about five. Today he got up at like 5.30. So I'm feeling very fortunate. <laughs> Although that is still pretty early. So it's like six o'clock right now. We just kind of hung out on the couch for like 30 minutes. I gave him a bottle and just snuggled. And now he's messing with the TV. What are you trying to put on, bud? Yeah. Yeah? You want to put on your animal show? Do you want me to put on animals? Okay, I'll do it. Yeah. Mommy, that's a monkey, dude. Yeah. That's the sun. That's what the monkey made? What's that? Yeah. Giraffe? Yeah. Giraffe? Yeah. Yeah.
got a protein shake after my workout at the gym. Mmm. I did a class with weights and I have never been a weightlifting girly. I've always been more like Pilates, yoga. I've been really into spin the last six months. But I know this girl that I met like a few times and she was subbing a weightlifting class. She's like, you should come to my class. It's You'll be fine. So I did like a lower body weights class a few weeks ago. I did it a couple times and I'm like, okay, this is fine. So today I did the full body weights class and it was challenging, but it was a good workout. Pretty easy to follow along. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'm discovering a new type of workout that I can do that I hear gives really good results. So here's to try new things. I feel like if you're scared of weights, doing a weightlifting class is the best way because I am terrified of going out in the middle of the gym and like making up a workout and people watching me and like, no, I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, you could always follow a workout plan that you see online, but I love that in a class they can make sure that you're doing it right. Obviously private training would be great, but that's expensive. I just love classes. I love classes. And then you can also look around and see how other people are doing it. Anyways, I have to run and pick up some nail polish remover. I'm going to go to Cosmoprof. Since I'm an esthetician, I can shop at like the professional stores and I need to get some supplies for the podcast and then go home and do nap time for Canyon. Getting ready to record the podcast. This is where we do it in my spare room of my house and this is our little setup. We do each other's nails on the podcast. Today's my turn to get my nails done. However, I'm not sure if I'm going to do them today because I'm also going on a trip in like a week and I want them to be fresh for that. So I'm gonna talk to Kendall and see what we're gonna do. Maybe we'll do record two episodes next week and I'll get my nails done next week and today just not. I don't know if that lets the people down. I don't know if anyone cares about the nails. I think it's kind of a fun aspect to the podcast, but this one broke. Sometimes we do gel X and sometimes we just do regular gel. I've been kind of letting my nails grow out and just doing regular gel and they've been doing quite well. There we go. We literally have so many nail polishes and full nail salon going on in here. I'm back. It is the next day and I did not get my nails done. I am going to get them done next week instead when we do a back-to-back -back recording day so that they will be fresh for my trip that I have coming up. I am actually going on a trip with Haley. As the YouTube people know her, Bay Bay Hey. And we are taking Canyon on a trip to Florida and I'm so excited. I will be vlogging that trip as well. Okay, so I'm making my holy grail right now. This is a chicken nugget salad. Perfect balance of healthy and unhealthy and it has everything that you need. Protein, vegetables, salt, fat. <laughs> is up from his nap and he took a nice long nap today which is such a treat because he was not a good napper his first year of life so I was really soaking up this long nap today he's been napping pretty good lately and I just want to get him out of the house and burn some energy so that he sleeps well tonight as well after getting so much sleep so we are gonna go to a little splash pad at a little shopping center that way maybe if I want to peruse some stores <laughs> to kill more time we can do that and then also he can run around the splash pad and interact with some other kids. We live in Vegas if you're new to this channel and it is a hundred plus degrees outside every single day. So we have to always do something that involves water if we're gonna be outside. And today's not the worst of the days, but it is still pretty hot, <laughs> over a hundred. So we'll see how long he lasts. My big old mom bag full of so many fun things. You see your bird? Yeah, yeah. Water. Wow, wow. Can you bite? Um. Banana. Banana. Mmm. Mmm. 
I'm so excited because I'm going to the movies tonight to see It Ends With Us. And I have not been to the movies since before I was pregnant. I think we went one time, but Canyon is 19 months old. So it's been like two years at least since we've gone to the movies. And I know I just said it's 110 degrees here, but I am wearing sweatpants because you will never catch me going to the movies in shorts. I just think that the movie theater is always cold and I don't like my legs touching the seat, if that makes sense. So. Sweatpants it is. I'm also bringing an emergency sweatshirt. I just have a feeling the AC is going to be blasting in there. I'm so excited to see this movie because I read the book. I read the book actually when I was pregnant and I was very emotional and it just really hard. Brian, you remember when I was reading that book? Crying a lot. <laughs> Crying a lot. I loved that book. It was the first book that got me like into reading, if you recall. Usually what like four year olds say, but you know. <laughs> At 27 or whatever. Like the never. 26. And now the movie is here and I love Blake Lively. So Kendall and I are going. I don't know if I said that, but I'm gonna go meet Kendall. Good night, boys. Good night to mama. Love you. Love you. Night night. He's so <laughs> confused. That's okay, Ann. Thanks, though. All right. This feels so vintage. I'm just waiting for Kendall. Why do I feel like I'm standing outside waiting for a date right now? Like I'm nervous. Like I never met them. Or this is our third date. That's what the movie theaters is giving. It's giving me in high school or middle school going on a date. <laughs> Waiting for my date. Where is she? She's late. Oh, there she is. Hello, hello. I love how prompt my date is. <laughs> I was just saying that. Literally, I was just telling the camera, I feel like I'm waiting for a date and I'm like nervous. <laughs> so when you texted me, I was like green, what do they say, green flag? <laughs> I was like, my date's here. She's here. Okay, the you got the tickets? She bought me a ticket, guys. It's a I'm, real date. I'm telling you, it really a is. A true gentleman. <laughs> okay, you, darling. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally not okay. I was crying in the movie. It's so good. I thought it was so good. Here's the thing with the movie, and I'm going to share more thoughts on this on the podcast, but I will quickly say, I thought it was so good. I thought the acting was amazing. I love the story, but you should really read the book first because the, the movie just can't capture it all. I think they do a really good job, but like my mind was definitely filling in the blanks or like filling in more to the story. So it was everything was way more meaningful to me because I had read the book. But I think that if you don't read the book, you don't get the full emotion behind it. Like you don't have the full stories. It doesn't go as detailed or as deep because it can't. It, the movie would need to be like four hours long. However, I loved it. I cried. I love Atlas. I just love him. And oh, it was so good. It was so good. I was crying more than Kendall, which she's pregnant. I don't understand it. <laughs> I think I'm just have an attachment to this storyline. It just really hit home for me. And just the relationship, like the toxic relationship that she was in was very relatable for me in my past. And I've talked about that on the podcast too, about the like very unhealthy, toxic relationship that I had. And I think it paints a pretty good picture how it's like not all bad and how you're not, you know, it's not just like dumb people that wind up in these situations. Like she was a really smart girl and she had seen abuse before and she knew what to look for and she had standards for herself. And even so, like I felt like that was me. I had seen abuse growing up in bad relationships and I was like, that's never going to be me. And then I ended up in one. And I think that they did a really good job of just kind of showing how complex it is in relationships like they start out so good and people can still have really good like qualities about them but it doesn't mean that you should stay and it's just such a good movie oh i love it so much you should go see it all right i'm signing off from this vlog i feel like i've vlogged a lot in the last few days and maybe this is gonna be two vlogs i'm not sure but i will be back very soon that's all for now